I've decided that technology has gone too far. Every new technology takes us closer to the machines taking over. And that just won't do, because, well, I want to take over. Today, we're going to see if you can win World War II without researching anything at all. This means no new technologies. Fuck it. That means no thinking whatsoever. Think expand. Now, this thinking ban means not only that we're not allowed to research, but also means we can't think about why our leader is missing the sides of his moustache. Firstly, let's look at the German war machine that we're working with. We've got plenty of finger guns and crap paper planes and uh, toy trucks. Oh, we're doomed! And what makes this so much worse is that over time, every other country will get better technology, but ours will just seem to get shitter. Time is against us. We have to figure out a way to stop other countries from researching new equipment, and we have to figure it out fast. Maybe a weekend away in the Netherlands might help us think of something. Wait, no, I, I wasn't thinking. Don't, don't, no, I was joking. It was a joke. Oh, miraculously, the Netherlands have stopped researching. What a pleasant surprise. Netherlands? More like it was nether there. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving swiftly on. The thinking ban has to be upheld by someone. And unfortunately, our leader is far too busy shaving the sides of his moustache. Why is it like that? Aha, the thought police. Who cares about robbery and murder? Thinking is the greatest danger to our country. You may think, how the fuck would you enforce a thinking ban? But you would be arrested for thinking that, so fuck you. Austria. I know you might be a bit scared of our big old scary ban, but war, corruption, and suffering, they just all seem to disappear when you stop thinking about them. It's a win-win. Wow, they're, they're in. <laughs> God, I, they mustn't have known that all of our soldiers are armed with finger guns. No backseas, Austria. So the Czechs and Yugoslavia totally voluntarily decided to join the Reich. But I am noticing that it's 1939, which means the rest of the world has three years better equipment than me. Maybe it's time for another little weekend away. This time, not to the wonderful Amsterdam, but to Hull. And I guess Poland as well. Oh, and just like that, Italy's decided they don't really want to think anymore either. Well, actually, I guess there's no real change for them there, but either way, welcome aboard. All right, we're off. Come on, boys, let's hit the town. Actually, you know what? Hull was so lovely that we might as well see the rest of the UK tourist hotspots. Wow, the UK looks so nice this time of year. Oh, shit, great, okay, that's the UK down. Um, what do you think about this, Mr. Sideless Mustache? Aha, good, I was just testing you. No thoughts here in Nazi Germany, just good vibes. Well, and war crimes, let's not forget them. Even toy guns are easily enough to beat the French in this game. Wait, what the fuck is that? Why has he got the sides of his mustache? And just like that, the Allies have all stopped researching. <sighs> we might avoid the machine rebellion after all. Well, there is actually one more rather big boy that we have to deal with. All our army is raring and ready to take on the Soviets. I guess it's kind of fortunate that no one really does much thinking around here, because it does seem like a bad idea taking on the Soviets with finger guns, but wait. Sir, where did you get that real gun? To war, men! Red means things are going good, right? Things are actually progressing slowly but surely. But I have realized that I've sent the whole army into the wilds of Russia without radios. Because we haven't invented them. Um, so if any soldiers manage to come back from this, I'll be very, very, very impressed. Oh god, the Air Force is getting pumped right now. We're losing six planes for every one that they lose. <sighs> Honestly, lads, the planes are made out of paper. Just give up. How are we going to win a war dealing out paper cuts? How are we winning this? I don't understand. We're fighting with toy weapons for fuck's sake. I, I, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to resist the urge to think about why this is happening. I don't want to be taken away to the gulag. Uh, so we, we won the war. 
<laughs> you may be amazed how I won with crap guns, but the even more amazing thing is I didn't just win with crap guns. I won with no guns at all. I don't understand. As you can see, I've got no new text from the starting ones, but somehow our good vibes have beaten the Soviets' advanced weaponry. With that, the world has been saved from thinking and technological advancement. I guess we could invade the US, but th there's just not much risk of any thinking going on over there, so I just, I think we'll be okay. Thank you for watching this little no research challenge. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks again. Goodbye.